Can a machine learning software turn a headshot, you know, something like this, into an extreme close-up of just one eye without losing any quality? Just a couple of months ago, I would have said, no, no way. You can't zoom in that much digitally in post without destroying the footage. Today, however, my answer is a bit different because I've seen what artificial intelligence can do, and I've done this myself. Welcome back to the channel, my friends. My name is Chris. I'm a full-time photographer and videographer living in Sweden. Lately, I've become quite obsessed with software using machine learning and AI. I think there's just so much potential here. Potential that I honestly don't even know what to do with quite yet. But this one thing happened to me with a client uh, just a couple of months ago, where the client asked if we had a really tight close-up of the model's eye. A close-up that we could add to the video that we're currently working on. We did not. It wasn't a part of the original storyboard or the original idea, so we never planned for it and never shot it. But you know, it's not an unusual question. Projects often change during production, during the editing phase. You know, it evolves. So at first we were thinking about purchasing a stock footage clip of an eye. That would probably be the easiest way to go. However, we would have to find a clip of an eye that would match you know, our model as much as possible and match the lighting in the scene as much as possible. So it would still feel like it was from the same moment. So it would definitely not be that easy to find. We did, however, have a portrait shot of our model. You know, something, something like, like this maybe, maybe a little bit closer. You know, this type of framing. Well lit, eyes perfectly in focus, lots of detail. So that, that got me thinking. I shot everything in 4K but we're delivering the video in 1080p resolution. And a 4K video inside a 1080p composition is already a pretty significant crop. Or, you know, in this case, a fake zoom. So what if I take my 4K footage and I upscale that to 8K footage using this AI upscaling software? If you're following my channel, you've probably seen this software before. Then I can take that 8K footage and throw that into the 1080p composition. That should give us a pretty sweet close-up of that eye. The only question now was, is it, is it even possible? I mean, would the quality of the upscale be good enough for this to actually work? Can this software upscale my footage and still keep all the detail we need to make this a close-up? I know that when I talked about upscaling 1080p footage to 4K footage before in my previous video, it looked fantastic. That really impressed me but I still wasn't sure if it was gonna hold up for this particular idea. Uh, well, let me tell you, yes, it is possible. I managed to successfully do it for that client video. You saw me do it in the intro of this video. You just saw it now, if I edited this video correctly. That zoom in to my eye that you saw was actually a digital zoom in one 8K video clip that I upscaled from 4K to 8K with video and enhanced AI. So let me just walk you through what I did and maybe, and maybe that will help you in a similar problem in the future. All right, so this is the portrait that I shot that I want to upscale. I've already trimmed it to the length that I want and I'm going to export it as is. I'm not doing any color correction or any adjustments until we got our clip upscaled. So I'll export this trimmed down clip as an Apple ProRes HQ video clip, 4K resolution. When that's done, I'll open up Video Enhance AI from Topaz Labs and toss this clip right in there. I'm going to use this AI model right here because I used it before and I know it works well for this. You, however, might want to play around with different AI models to see, to see what works best for your particular clip. And you know, depending on what your desired outcome is. For me, in this case, this is what I'll be using. 200% will turn this into a 8K video. There are also presets for 8K in this drop-down menu. I'm going to add some grain. I'm going to make sure that we export in ProRes file. There's no audio on this clip, so I'll be turning this off. Hit process, and now we wait. Once it's done, let's just take a quick look at this clip. Hopefully it's looking great. 
I still can't believe how this software can upscale something this much without destroying the footage. Now let's jump back into Premiere Pro, import our new 8K footage, drag that in our 1080p comp, probably have to do some repositioning and make sure that the eye is in frame. Pro tip, you can also import that 8K footage into After Effects first and stabilize the eye to make sure that the eye that you want to zoom into uh, is super steady and doesn't move out of frame. And yeah, that's it. Now we have a close-up of an eye to work with. That you can cut to in your video, that you can zoom into if you want to, just like I did. Or maybe you just want a little tighter crop on the face without losing any quality. And you got that possibility too. All right, I think this is a good place to end this video. If you feel like you want to try this software out, if you have some ideas of your own where AI upscaling or enhancement would be, you know, great for your project, then you know, give this software a try. There's an affiliate link in the description if you want to try out this software or or any of their other softwares for that matter. They do have some AI upscaling softwares for uh, photo editing as well. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video in any way, please feel free to like it. It is the very best way to help uh, me out, help the channel grow, and it helps YouTube know, you know what you enjoy watching here and you'll be recommended more of that type of content in the future. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more videos on Artificial intelligence, I guess? Photography, videography, um, stock photography. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Take care of yourself. Bye bye. I purchased some new um, mist filters, so now all the lights in the background look really, really epic. Look like lightsabers. Pretty cool. Maybe I'll show you in a future video.